Here's the big challenge of life. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. That's the challenge. And of course, the other side of the coin reads, unless you change how you are, you'll always have what you got. Success is something you attract, not something you pursue. Success is looking for a good place to stay. So instead of going after it, you work on yourself, personal development. See, the major question to ask on the job is not what are you getting? The major question to ask on the job is what are you becoming? See, the big question is not what am I getting paid here? The big question is what am I becoming here? Because true happiness is not contained in what you get. Happiness is contained in what you become. I have found in my experience that income does not far exceed personal development. Now, sometimes income takes a lucky jump, but sure enough, unless you grow out where it is, it'll usually come back where you are. Life has strange ways. If somebody hands you a million dollars, best you become a millionaire quickly. So you get to keep the money. Otherwise, sure enough, it'll disappear. Mr. Shelf taught me how to set goals. What a favor that was. One morning at breakfast, shortly after I met him, he said, Jim, let me see your current list of goals and let's go over them and talk about them. He said, maybe that's the best way I can help you get a better direction started. And I said, I don't have a list. He said, well, is it out in the car or home somewhere? I said, uh, no, sir. I don't have a list anywhere. He said, well, young man, that's where we got to start. He said, I can tell you right now, if you don't have a list of your goals with you, he said, I can guess your bank balance within a few hundred dollars, which he did. And that got my attention. I said, you mean my bank balance would change if I had a list of goals? He said, drastically. If you're good, it'll stand out. This idea that, like, oh, it's easy for you to say. Everybody's got these stupid barriers they put in their own head. You gotta resist those goddamn things because they don't do you any good and they certainly define the potential for your future in a negative way that's not self serving and it's not even real. You know, you've, you've, you've put this artificial ceiling on the potential for what you're doing. If you hit a wall, Okay, that just means you need to regroup and rethink. It doesn't mean that wall's there, especially when it comes to something like social media or like a, a podcast, something where you're just, you're putting out a piece of art, you're putting out something that you've created. There's no wall as far as like how many people are going to enjoy it or how far it's going to go. It's just, it is what it is. And if people don't like it, make it better. If they like it less, fix that. F figure out a way to do it. You can do that. And this, this idea that there's no way to get past the starting block today is just ludicrous. It's crazy. And it's just this, this poor thinking. And people that are trapped in bad situations, one of the problems is you feel like this is your future. You feel like, and you can't get out of that. There's no hope. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. There's no rainbow. And if you feel like that, that alone can be incredibly defining and limiting. But if you can look at, if you look at yourself objectively and say, okay, I kind of am here. I'm in credit card debt. I'm working in a job. I, I, I don't like what I'm doing, but I have some ideas. I need to feed those ideas. And I, I, I need to feed them and water them. And I need to set aside a certain amount of time every day to just try to make those things happen. You can do that. But I had fallen so flat on my face for the first time in my life. I was depressed, asking myself why. Why? Why me? How can this happen? I work so hard. Hard work pays. I always thought it's not paying for me. I got nothing. I literally had seven bucks in my pocket. So my seven dollar story. That failure, rising from that to say it's not over for me. I'm immediately going to launch myself into training for professional wrestling. I couldn't have launched myself with that type of training that I did every day for hours in a boxing ring that was stiff like concrete every day for hours. I couldn't have launched myself with that type of mentality had I not fallen on my face after 10 years of football failed. Sometimes desire waits for a trigger, waits for something to happen. Who knows what the happening may be? A song, the lyrics, a movie, the dialogue, a seminar, a sermon, a book, 
an experience, confrontation with an enemy, a conversation with a friend who finally levels with you. Whatever the experience it is, it's so valuable. And here's my best advice. Welcome all experiences. You never know which one is gonna turn everything on. Don't put up the walls. The same wall that keeps out disappointment keeps out happiness. Take down the wall, go for the experience, let it teach you. And then the other thing that people say, and this is more like three quarters of them, is that they say, I was in a very dark place, I was addicted, I was, I was drinking too much, I had a fragmented relationship with my fiance, and I wasn't getting married, uh, things weren't going very well with my family, my relationship with my father was damaged, I didn't have any aim, I was wasting my time, some variant of that, some combination of those. And they say, well, I've been watching your lectures, I've decided to establish a purpose, I'm trying to tell the truth, and things are way better. Let's say I've done maybe eight or nine large-scale public talks in the last two months, so that's probably 20,000 people, and about half of them, a third to half of them, have stayed afterwards to talk to me, so that's about 7,000 people who have said that to me. And then people stop me on the street all the time and tell me exactly that story. I have a purpose, man, my life actually matters. I finally realized that, and I'm putting it into practice, and I'm bearing up under the heaviest load I can imagine, and it's really helping. It's like, God. Human beings are emotional creatures. And emotions are powerful for life change. Now, of course, emotions are so powerful, they can go either way on you. Emotions can either build or destroy. So you really have to employ emotions properly. We call civilization the intelligent management of human emotions. If you can intelligently apply your emotions in the right direction, no telling what can happen. Could turn your life around one day. People have asked me for the last 24 years, how do you develop an above average income? And the answer is, become an above average person. Develop an above average handshake. Some people want to be successful, they don't even work on their handshake. As easy as that would be to start on. They let it slide, they don't understand. Develop an above average smile. Develop an above average excitement. Develop an above average interest in other people. Develop an above average intensity to win. See, that'll change everything. Probably one of the most frustrating experiences in life is looking for an above average job with above average pay without becoming an above average person. It's called frustration. How often does winter follow fall? Every year regularly for the last six and a half thousand that we know of. See, it is not gonna change. Now some winters are long and some are short and some are hard and some are easy, but they always come right after falls. It isn't gonna change. Sometimes you can figure it out. Sometimes there's no way to figure it out. Sometimes it goes well. Sometimes it gets in a knot. Sometimes it sails along. Sometimes it gets in reverse. See, that's not going to change. The last 6,000 years reads like this. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. That's how it reads. It isn't going to change. The man says, well, if it isn't going to change, how will my life ever change? Answer, when you change. And whether I'm talking to high school kids or business executives, my message is always the same. And it goes like this. The only way it gets better for you is when you get better.